Thank you for choosing the single phase hybrid inverter, which is characterized by high yield, high reliability, and intelligent maintenance. This video will briefly introduce the installation process and precautions of the single phase hybrid inverter. Preparation before installation. Tools we need before installation. Take out the inverter and its accessories. Mounting. Note, to ensure long service life, the hybrid inverter must not be exposed to direct solar irradiation, rain, or snow. It is recommended that the inverter be mounted in a sheltered place. Take out the mounting bracket and fix it. Hang the inverter on the mounting bracket and tighten the side screws. Note, three suites of M12 expansion screws from the packing case are needed for wall mounting. Electrical connection. Wiring system non-parallel connection mode. The bottom view of the hybrid inverter. Caution, ensure that the inverter and all cables to be installed are completely powered off during the whole installation and connection. Grounding. Use crimping pliers to tighten the yellow-green line and OT terminal. Use a screwdriver to remove the screw on earth PE terminal of the inverter. Put the OT terminal into the screw and tighten it firmly. Grid EPS Connection Insert strip cables into the grid EPS connector accordingly. Connect the AC breakers into the grid EPS output terminal. PV connection. Note, limit buckle can't be crimped. Insert the metal terminal through the waterproof nut into the corresponding terminal housing. Tighten the waterproof nuts on each connector with a wrench to avoid loosening. Test PV string bolt. Insert the terminals into the inverter connector with the corresponding polarity. Battery connection. Tighten battery cable with the hydraulic crimping pliers. Insert the battery connector into the ports on the inverter according to their polarity. Caution, polarity reverse will damage the inverter. The other end of the battery connectors is connected to the battery via DC breaker 150 amperes. Communication Connection Unscrew the waterproof cover and loosen the rubber nut on the waterproof cover. Make the RJ45 terminal according to each pin definition. RJ45 terminal configuration of CT meter cable. For the RS485 connection, please connect pin 1 and pin 2. For the CT connection, please connect pin 5, CT minus, and pin 6, CT plus. RJ45 terminal configuration of battery communication, BMS. For the battery that adopts PAN communication, please connect pin 7 and pin 8 on the inverter side. The battery terminal is connected to the corresponding pin according to the battery requirements. For other pin lines, please choose according to your needs and battery requirements. Pass the CT meter cable and BMS cable into the RJ45 terminal. Lead the CT meter cable or cables and BMS cable through the rubber nut, seal, and waterproof cover in turn. Install the seal into the threaded sleeve. Insert RJ45 terminals into corresponding ports. Screw the waterproof cover back to the inverter firmly. Fasten the rubber nut. GPRS Wi-Fi module installation, optional. Loosen two screws and move the port cover. Insert the GPRS Wi-Fi LAN module into GPRS Wi-Fi LAN port and tighten the two screws. Commissioning and powering on. The LED indicator includes PV, BAT, grid, EPS, COM, and alarm indicators. 
make sure that all the wiring is connect and that the parameters are within the required specifications for the inverter. The PV voltage range is 70 to 520 volts. The battery voltage range is 40 volts to 60 volts. And the AC voltage range is determined according to national regulations. Close the inverter input switch and the PV lights, DC lights, and grid lights on the inverter panel will light up. Set parameters on the app. Download app. Scan the QR code on the inverter to download the app. Download the app from the App Store or Google Play. Quick setting. Note, Bluetooth needs to be turned on. Connect inverter. Click the Bluetooth connection. Two ways to connect the inverter. Scanning machine SN barcode. If you cannot recognize or have no barcode, select Manual Connect. Choose and click the inverter you want to connect. Choose OK. Go to the Quick Setup page. Click each item to enter the information and then click Next. Click each item to enter the information and then click Next. Click each item to enter the information and then click Next. Please set according to the actual situation. Click each item to enter the information and then click Next. Click to start. When the emergency power light is on, the inverter starts to work. Notes 1. Batteries must be shared. 2. Setting parameters needs to be done with the parallel line connected. 3. If lithium batteries are used, the BMS and the meter are to be connected to the same inverter. This inverter will be recognized as the host. 4. If lead acid batteries are used, the inverter connected to the meter is used as the host. Installation process 1. Confirm that the standalone inverter is working properly. 2. All inverters are connected to the parallel line. Note, the dip switch of the first and last machine should be toggled to on. 3. Select an inverter as host. Connect BMS and meter or CT. 4. Connect app. Set to parallel mode. 5. Set up the system according to the quick setup parameters. Set one inverter and the other inverters will be set up synchronously. 6. After setting all parameters, click on Power On. All inverters will power on synchronously. Welcome to contact us if you have any questions.